everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with a bins haul. Bins haul. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I can't believe it. We finally went to the Dallas bins. You guys have been asking all the time and we are delivering for you. Yeah, we got a whole big pile of mess right over here. They're going to show you everything that we picked up today. Um, not everything was the same price though. So things were a little wacky at the Dallas bins. We'll um, explain as we go through. Right, I'm just gonna grab stuff yeah. off the top of the pile and we're gonna get a mix of clothes, hard, everything we picked up, so. Yep, and I've been to bins, oh, you're gonna start with this. I'm gonna start with this. We're you guys, gonna, I have to pick this stuff up, I can't help it. We're gonna set this video off in the right direction. This is a art to wear <laughs> lag and look pair of overalls super awesome overalls if these were amy size she would keep them um i mean you have to know that when i'm not on camera this is the kind of stuff i'm wearing um the brand is sacred threads that doesn't really matter though. Doesn't this was matter. picked up purely for the look and the style of it so if you're selling something that an art teacher would wear you use words like lag and look that's probably made of natural fibers hand dyed that kind of thing that will sell and it will sell quickly all right this is an awesome uh women's adidas t-shirt it's rose gold that is the front and we have the reverse logo on the back actually in reverse. I love it. That's too cool. Adidas has a pretty loyal following, so people that love Adidas love their Adidas. Yep. I think it'll go. All right. Bread and butter. I picked this up. You did. Yeah, I think you did good on this. This is a Resistol jacket. It feels kind of like a North Face. It's like an outdoor rain weather jacket. Yeah, weatherproof. Um, again, so it's got Resistol in blue stitching all the way down the sleeve got the cowboy hat on the back there uh, that's that's the brand right there resist all it's a western wear brand yep. for sure. yeah. and i didn't know this brand but we use our hands once you resell long enough you can feel quality and i knew that that felt really heavyweight and expensive and they had embroidery on it so we didn't have really time to comp anything. We were there for three hours, but it was hot. Right. And there was a lot of people, so we didn't really have time to comp. Plus the service was terrible in there. Not was your, so, yeah, I couldn't not get so any. Good. Yeah. We comped a couple of things near the door, but that's the Dallas bins on Westmoreland. If you live in Dallas, yeah. uh, it's new. It and is new. So we went there. Checked it out. Can't say we recommend that location. Yeah, I mean we'll see, we'll see. We'll judge the hall at the end, but so this was another one that I picked this piece up based purely on feel. I don't, I didn't know this brand. It's Magashoni. There you go. All of us lady resellers, we know this. Yeah, I don't. I'm, but... I'm just making a vast generalization. But when he picked this up, he it, came over. He goes, "This feels good." It felt. It feels nice. Yeah. It feels like it's quality. And it's just like a basic that somebody could use in a capsule wardrobe, and I think that would do well. This is a free people little mini skirt, right? Denim. Denim. And it's stretchy. Free people. The tag is so small. It's a vintage, yeah. probably not vintage, but like an older free people piece. Okay. You want to hold it? Um, this kind of style is really great right now if you put Y2K or a 90s or a grunge. Okay. You can wear this with a pair of docks and a flannel. You sure could. Right here, like what I'm wearing. Yep. Uh, you can make this really cool. So make sure to get your keywords, you guys, especially on Poshmark now, there are keywords. Keywords. All right, I found this new with tag from PacSun. It's an extra large uh, Hurley pullover hoodie. Great. I normally wouldn't pick this up, but it was at the bins and it was new with tags, so. We sell Hurley though. Yeah. We don't have a problem selling I, it. We don't, I mean, we don't have a whole bunch of it in our closet. Right. That's but true. the few the few pieces we have picked up have sold. Oh man, this is awesome! Look at this pink Bucky's shirt, guys. Bucky's. If you're not from Texas. Bucky's is a gas station. Here comes the fun. Lots of pumps, lots of clean bathrooms, yeah. and lots of food. I, again, I bought this purely because it's a Bucky's shirt, and I could care less what the brand is. People love Bucky's. If you haven't been to Texas ever, take a road trip and go to Bucky's. Yeah. Highly recommend. Check it out. Oh, check it out. Speaking oh, of yes. check it out. What is this? Maria D. Design? The brand doesn't know. Not door. Made in 
USA, Dallas, Texas, right Come here. Come on. Come on, Western wear. Boom. That's legit. That is legit. Vintage Western wear. Oh. When I do a Patsy Klein play, this is going in. You're not selling this. This is going to the costume stash. So, I have a costume stash. You guys, should I make a costume closet? Like, not a real closet. What do you call it? eBay store? It's eBay store. For costumes? Tell me what you think about that. I've, I've been mulling it because I have so many costumes. Literally a whole storage unit full. Yeah that I could sell if somebody really needed them. So we should we should make a Shopify for you to rent <gasps> them out. Shopify, you guys, who knows Shopify? Tell me. That's what we should Tell do. Tell me below if you can tutor us. I'll tutor you in reselling. You can tutor us in Shopify. Right? right. I'll barter. Where, where's the other shoe? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna set that over here until okay. I find the other shoe. We have a huge pile over here. It's like It's gigantic. Out. We filled this up is, the whole car. All right, we're on a theme, right? Feel. Feel quality and feel knowing something's quality by how it feels so hold on don't show them learning channel if you don't know what we're talking about go to the mall i know i know where what don't Why? go to buy anything go to feel go okay. into okay. Saks or go into bergman good whatever you have whatever high-end department Neiman, stores in your area the highest yeah. one and go feel the fabric you will i'm telling you it's the best trick in the book Okay. You full of tricks. Tricks. Okay, this is a pair of jeans in a size 36. They're slim fit. They're from Rising Sun & Co. Los Angeles, California. It's not going to focus any better than that. Oh, here's the, uh, oh, yeah. the thing on the back. So here's some things that made me pick these up. The feel. They're made in LA. Yep. And then the back leather tag is embossed. That's that's expensive to okay. do that. It's not just printed on there. You feel it? Yeah, I can feel it's it. It's like embossed yep. in there. Yep. yep. And I felt those jeans, and I'm like, these are nice jeans, and I put them in the cart. That's these, all I did. These are dude jeans, right? They are. And when I looked them up, they retail for a lot, like four or five hundred dollars. Shut up! Are and you they, serious? Yeah, they're, the soles are over a hundred. Wow. But I would never have put those in my cart when I first started reselling because I didn't know the brand. Okay. Right. So it's right. not all about brand. No. That's the moral of this bins trip. Good find. Go feel the clothes. All right. We're going to do two pink pink things in a row. First one, Chevrolet t-shirt. And you're like, -neck. why are you buying a Chevrolet t-shirt? Because. Say that. Why are you buying a Chevrolet t-shirt? Well, uh, when my, my parents live in Myrtle Beach, we live in Texas. We go visit. I watch what people are wearing. Okay. Because okay. it's so important. Just because they're not wearing it in Dallas doesn't mean remember when we went to the outdoor concert how many women had on pink chevy ford all these uh, mm -hmm. harley yeah it was a big thing and they got to find those shirts somewhere you right you so right. it's a bread and butter it's just a t-shirt but i know there's a market for that because i've seen it with my eyeballs and i took a note <laughs> and then when i saw it today i was like oh myrtle beach speaking of things you saw with your eyeballs oh this is so good Do oh you guys man remember our what's old we just sold this cat in plush form. This is a pair of uh, Aristocat 3X, probably, right? Yeah, I think it's a 3X. From Disney Pajama Pants. And they are amazing. And there's a following for Aristocats that we never knew about. <clears throat> nope. But we started selling plush, and now we've sold three Aristocats plush yep. for a yep. lot of money. <laughs> Remember that one with the long tail? Yes. We sold that like overnight. It was crazy. It was like the, the evil one. And the guy Lucifer. was like, don't tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a secret don't, aristocrat. Please don't tell my wife I spent so much money on this plush. He was international. <laughs> That's why he's making that accent. <laughs> I'm very sorry if I offended anyone. No, no, no. Here's Raja. Check it out. Man, a Raja plush from Disney. Legit from Disney. There is a... Uh, there you go. There's a Disney tag. Okay, tell the people how you need to pick this one up. Um, Amy has a theory, and when Amy has a theory, it's usually <laughs> right. No, no it's I true. I wanted you to take it as your theory. No, I'm not going to take it. Um, Disney plush sidekicks or not main characters tend to be more valuable because, um, like, the main character, everybody loves the main character. And they're going to produce way more plush of that character because he's way more popular. But it's the side characters, they're a little 
they're more rare probably yeah. and the people that really like them really like them you know how i know so, this how do you know this when do I was you a like kid? Really? Yes. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. You. All right. Which one is when it? When I was a kid, I loved Winnie the Pooh. Right. But my favorite character was Christopher Robin. <laughs> I could never find a plush of Christopher Robin. My parents would look everywhere. I love Christopher Robin. He's my favorite. It's probably why I married Danny. It reminds me so much of him. I love him. He's <laughs> perfect. But there was no plush of him. So finally, when I was 16, on my 16th birthday, my mom found a plush at the Disney store of Christopher Robin and had to give it to me when I was wow. 16 years old, and I still have it. You know what? That's probably worth some serious I coin. I know. But that's how I know that the, you'll pay okay. whatever. Yeah. Somebody loves Raja and is like, if only I had a Raja plush. Or maybe they have like the little, like, you know, yeah. different sizes and they need that one. Or, or that one, right. Exactly. You know so again, your personal experiences play into this business every single day. All right, what is this like? I don't like? know. I swear, did you get this or did I get this? You got this. This is um, oh, this. a this is a Funko. There's all sorts of collabs going on here. We got Disney, we got Funko Pop, we got Kingdom Hearts 3, which is a video game. That's if, why I got it. It's, I, a, it's a fighting video game, if my memory serves me correct. I brought it to you and I was like, this is nerd, check it. And then I left. Yeah, totally. Okay. Um, this, I'm assuming this must be a character from Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, I don't know who, I don't know which one. You wanna, okay, there's a little bit of, let's see if we can see it. There's a little bit of nasty. There, Ooh, there it, is. it is. On you the guys, back of his head. It will come out so easily with a baby wipe. A baby wipe. That's the trick, huh? Every time. I don't use anything else with new tag. You can't put it in the wash, what are you gonna do? Right, you can't do that. You just use baby wipe. Baby wipe. Because things that get on plush are from babies. And babies, ah seriously. <laughs> You just use a baby wipe. That's smart. It's it very works. Smart. All right. Surface. It's fine. All right. We found a probably vintage Garfield looking like a nurse. Who needs this? I know who needs Cup. this. Cup. Oh, you know who needs this. That's legit Garfield copyright 1978. You can't read that. I'm very sorry. Hope. You need Are this you Cup, watching? right? Are you a Garfield fan? Insta us your address. We're going to send you this. For sure. We have to send this to Hope. Absolutely have to send that to Hope. I mean, you need like four coffees at this. <laughs> if you're anything like me, this is like not yeah, going to cut it. This is like... <laughs> it's like a shot glass. <laughs> That's how we know it's big. Next. <laughs> <laughs> but you can put this on your shelf. It's very cute. Let us know if you want this. We, you have to give it to you. Okay, you guys, Amy bought this because she wants me to wear it i did not buy this this is not how it went down dan said i'm gonna get this and i said only if you wear it <laughs> <laughs> i said only if you wear it in a youtube video so apparently i might be wearing this guy for don't our you what's guys want to watch okay thumbs up if you want dan to watch, wear this on the what's old sunday like don't it's eight feet tall yeah it's got you know it comes with the uh included pump <laughs> to blow it up he this was like, should I get this? Ridiculous. And I was like, only if you wear it on YouTube. <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thumbs yep. up. Thumbs up. All right. Leave a comment. Tell him how much you would love to see his little face, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, wouldn't be a hustle couple haul without at least one sport coat. Okay, well, and you're allowed one. I'm allowed one. It's, uh, I found it at the bins. It's... I'm assuming Mario's is the boutique or store that sold it. It's oh, cashmere, it's cashmere and wool. Oh. Wool, we have made the wool. <laughs> um, I had a really hard time. Let's see. I don't know if this label is going to show. Oh, no, to it's help just you too out. bright. Oh, it's just too oh, oh, I got you. Look, oh. it needed MC Hammer it. Oh, oh, girl, oh. you know it's your... Oh, no, that's, <laughs> no, that's the no. other one. Anyway, <laughs> the <laughs> label <laughs> is San Remo, and it says made in Italy, so I'm going to take a gamble on it for a wool and cashmere bins jacket yeah made in italy's right and it's a normal average size yeah it's a 40 regular oh perfect and it's might be old so it might be small so it might fit me who knows so sometimes we take risks like that like educated guesses mm -hmm. uh to learn this, that's a good thing it's a bucky's hoodie is it my size it is absolutely your size bang oh my god no, <laughs> you guys nothing ever fits me Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Are you gonna tell the people what size it actually is? I don't know is. what size is it. Mm, it's a youth medium. <laughs> that means it's like an eight. Y'all yeah. <laughs> like wear size eight, send them my way. <laughs> actually, I wear a 10, 12, but like, but like this is a hoodie, so yeah. it'll work. Yeah. Oh my god, I got a Bucky's hoodie. Bucky's hoodie. I'm not just selling it. For you. 
right, let me see. I said this, I said this earlier, and I'll probably mess it up now. Fit flop, flip flops. <gasps> Good job. <laughs> we sell fit flops on eBay still. Yeah, we do. They so don't make them anymore. It's imprinted on the bottom. It's got the red dot in the middle of the heel, which, what does it say? Wobble board, whatever that is. I don't know. It, like, works you out. It's like a shape up, but I don't know. Okay, like, does like it the, wobble? Does it? Yeah. I mean, it is kind of, it looks a little... I don't know. It's supposed to work your calves or something, you know? Oh, all right. Okay. All right, you go work your calves in Fit those. Flop. All right. I really need to do more research. We just sell them. We have no idea what this is, but I, we think, internet, you got to help us out. We think this is a bag of like concert swag or like a goodie bag from a VIP ticket to a Jay-Z and Beyonce concert. That's all I saw. I saw Jay-Z <laughs> and Beyonce and I was like, I'm going to buy this. Here, we'll show them the pins. There's pins in there's, it and a hat. a hat, pins, a scarf. and a flag or something. Oh, a flag. Is Jay-Z and Beyonce riding a motorcycle. What is this OTR too? We could look it up. I mean, we, just we, could, haven't. we could Google it. Yeah. We're just being lazy. <laughs> we just haven't. <laughs> we just want that engagement, man. This looks Leave like those a, comments. Yeah, please. This <laughs> looks like a swag bag from like a radio station or a VIP yeah, or like meet a, and greet. Yeah, something like that. This is sure. somebody paid extra for this, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then they were like, eh. 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 All right. Maybe somebody really wants this because they couldn't afford to pay extra. Oh, maybe this is worth something. Maybe. That's why I bought it. I tried. Like concert stuff is usually there's a following. Yeah, if you saw our, our video with the concert poster from yeah, Eddie she Vedder. She's got a super sweet Eddie Vedder, Vedder poster. Say that five times. Uh, mm -mm. Uh, check it out on our Instagram. Yeah, that we was have some on, a, that was on an IGTV haul. This, what does that say? Funkhauser? That's even better that it says <laughs> Funkhauser. <laughs> This is Funkhauser's TI-82 calculator. I will list it as such. <laughs> It'll probably command a higher price. If you know Funkhauser, let him know we got his TI-82. What an epic thing to have on the back of a calculator. <laughs> I don't know. It just sounds so nerdy. I love it. Oh, Nerds. man. That's All good. Right. So these go for, okay, even if it doesn't have the case, the vintage. Yeah, the TI-82, 85s, they go for, I mean. Not as much as the 83s. 50 bucks. Easy. Those TI-83 Pluses, those are the money makers. All right. We got a pair of Cougar, uh, what would you call these, snow boots? I would. All right. They're wedges. They're Super like the... awesome condition soles. Check that out. We these, do not these, these know are this nice. brand. No, but they feel nice. Again, they feel high quality. They're heavy. They are. So here's the thing, you guys. Our bins charges shoes individually. Not by weight. I'm sorry, what? We didn't know this. It's the only bins I've ever heard of doing this. The shoes were two sixty nine a pair. Wow. So when we figured that out, we went through all the shoes and got rid of a lot of shoes. Yep. yep. I was about to buy some native men's shoes mm -hmm. that would have sold for maybe fifteen bucks, but they were so light that it would have been a good flip. But then for two sixty nine, yeah. oh, oh. Oh. This is a much better buy for two sixty nine. So then we bought all the heavy shoes. Because they're heavy. And these are these are nice. These are gonna be worth some money. Yeah, I hope so. If you guys know this brand, let us know below. We're going to do some comping on it, but they look like the Sorrells that are really popular right yep. now with the wedge style. But do your bins charge for shoes? Shoes, books, bags were all separate price. Yeah. It was weird. It was very weird. Purses were two ninety nine. You could not even add them in with your clothes. Are right, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It is a... Very, very large, dandy, blue hippo. Is it blue or gray? It's Well, it's gray, but it has blue in the paws oh, and see. stuff. So there's the dandy tag. Um, not all dandy plush is good plush. Okay? That is true. There's and say that again. <laughs> not all dandy plush is good plush. Preach. There is a bunch of it out there. You'll see, the, you'll see it a lot. Um, the valuable stuff is stuff that's large. Uh, and like random animals, like a hippo, that's a weird animal. For or a frog, to be, or I think we yeah. had a frog we got. Yep. Um, the most valuable dandy stuff out there is the hoppy hopsters. Mm -hmm. they, they come out around Easter time, they get really popular, and they're the very large Easter bunnies with embroidery on the belly and on the feet. It's like flowers and baskets and, Chicks and Easter stuff. Eggs. Not the ones with the year, okay? Do not get those. 
There's one there like 2012 and 2020 and whatever on the feet. Don't get those. No. You're the other ones the are worth the money. Ones. They're yeah. from the 80s. You'll see them. They look very 80s. We actually have a couple. Yeah, and you can still listed. find them with the tag. And if you, those are uh, go for over 100 bucks. Yes. And you can feel the quality difference in Dandy as well. So they sell Dandy at like Valentine's Day at CVS, Walgreens. It's a very, very mass produced brand. But when you get these big ones, they feel different. They don't feel crispy. They feel soft. Is All that right. a way to describe it? Yeah. You know how crispy those cheap ones feel? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. These feel soft. <gasps> All right. We got... This is the first time. A full set. We don't know if it's a full set, but we got a whole set of Longa Burger Baskets. I was so excited. These Check are always so expensive and I can't buy them. The color is not coming through really well. It's a nice, like, dark green. Longa Burger Basket. See how they're signed? I was telling you guys about this in another video. Yeah, Who knows? 1999. Spouting off about it. They're all signed. By the person that wove them? Yeah. And it matters who it's signed by. The people that collect these know those initials. Oh, and the people that collect these really they know collect it. these. So I think I'm going to lot these up. Okay. Because they all go together. You know what? I'm not sure I realized the very first time we were talking about these that they're made out of wood. Yeah. They have huh. little nails in them. Yep. There you go. So these are from the 90s. You guys remember these on the tops of people's kitchen cabinets? Did yeah. Did your friends have these? Everybody I knew I'm had sure, these. I'm sure my friend's mom had yeah. these. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but they're still really popular. I, I don't know much about it, but we're, we're just dabbling because it's cheap. Yep. So we decided to dabble. And learn. Okay. If you know a lot, let us know. These are for a Dyson DC-16. Uh, I guess they are vacuum filters. Awesome. Four brand new sealed in the package with a barcode. Gotta love it. It's the trifecta. Man. The barcode. New. Uh-huh. Refill. People gotta refill their stuff. Yes, they do. And you know what? Sometimes companies stop making refills for stuff. This is why I buy them. You knew I bought these. Yep. <laughs> I would have bought more if I could have found them. Because it's a multi-quantity listing. It's so quick. We'll sell these. Oh. I don't even know what it's for. I don't care what it's for. If Doesn't it's a matter. refill, I'll get it. Right. Did not comp those, by the way. We got a Playmobil house. Do you know we already sell this? We sold a pirate of one. Oh, what is this one? This, I think this is Dracula's house. Okay. Or something. Because inside is a little Playmobil coffin. What? I, yeah. With. Wah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Playmobil Dracula. That will go. Ah, ah, ah. The Playmobil stuff is great. Yes. This The house is probably not so valuable. Probably not. But, like, I mean, I got it just for this. Yeah, for sure. Because that's, that's a unique thing. And Playmobil collectors, it's kind of like Lego. Yes. They buy it for the little, you know how Lego, I don't know, maybe you don't know. The Mi minifigs right, can the, be super valuable. Yeah, it's so weird. The little Lego guys with the hair. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Um, all right, we got the Bad Girls sticky notes. So I love buying gag gifts. If you didn't know that about me, what, Ray of Effing Sunshine mug. That's a good one. This. Yeah. Uh, I put it in the title and in the description because people go to Google to buy gag gifts. And so I'll put like, bachelorette party gag gift. Okay, good call, good Sells strategy. every time. Good strategy. You just gotta think like a person needing a gift. What would you type in, you know? We got some top shop. Let me see if I remember. Paper bag waste uh, shorts. <laughs> what yes. kind of shorts? Yeah. Just regular shorts. They're high-waisted. High-waisted shorts. Um, there's the, uh, come on now, Topshop there label, is. there it is, a little blurry, but you get the point. Did you know that Topshop's no more? <laughs> I did not know that. It's gone. That's so sad. They closed all their main flagship stores in London, it's gone. I think they're still online and maybe at Macy's. Okay. Let me know, you guys, if they're still at Macy's, but the England stores, they did not make it through the pandemic. Man, that's Sad. Sad for their workers because they yeah. employed a lot of people. All right, we got what is this? I don't Harry know. Potter Hogwarts t shirt. Oh, I know why. We buy the, you bought this, but I know why you got it. We get stuff like this, uh, we put it on Poshmark mm -hmm. for bundlers. Yes. 
So lots of people like Harry Potter, but lots of people don't want to spend $7 to ship one thing. So if we have a lot of filler like that in our closet, they bundle it. It happens yep. every time. It's really helpful. All right, this is nice. This is a nice piece. This is a full zip. Um, mm. Not really fleece, but knit, uh, like a thick hoodie, I guess. Does it have a hood? It does have a hood. Uh, it's from L.L. Bean, ah. and it is a Mrs. Large Petite Size. Great. There you people go. gotta go online to get their clothes anyway. There you go. It's green. It looks brown on there, but it's like an Yeah, olive. it's like a dark olive green. It's really nice, and L.L. Bean goes so fast for us. It's got a following. Cool. All right, let's see. Oh. No, that's from, no, that's not from this That's place. not from that. What are these doing? You're we did a haul on in. Instagram, so you can check out a haul on Instagram. Of regular Goodwill stuff. What about these? Yep. These were bins. Bins. More fit flops. Flip flop, flip flops. These are clogs. Clogs. Like wool clogs. Yeah. They look like Birkenstocks. They, they look like they're trying to be Birkenstocks, kind of. We this. put two pairs of Birkenstocks back at the bins. Yes, we did. They were wrecked. Wrecked. No like, good. I mean, you can get Birkenstocks if they're wrecked, but these were like. Beyond. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is a pair of. Your basic Sam Edelman black ballet flat. Sam Edelman, there boom, you there you go. Look at that. We buy these. These are still in really good shape. The if soles are. Yeah, I show them the soles. If yeah, the show, soles are good, we'll get them. Because some people wear these to work and they need to replace them with their regular black. Yeah. And they're very comfortable. If you're looking for a pair of comfortable black flats, Sam Edelman makes much more comfortable than I used to wear. <laughs> So we, we do sell a lot of them. All right, speaking of refills, it's a Veleda Magic Mop refill. Ah, uh, mm. Amy loves refills. It's a refill, it's got a barcode. Does it have a barcode? It does, but it was covered up. Um, these were selling on eBay, we looked them up, but they were all selling from the UK. This has happened to us before with stuff. Yeah. It's really good when this happens. Yeah. Because what if you're an expat, you bring over your mop, and you can't get a refill unless you ship it from the UK. Oh, and you gotta pay that eBay global shipping? Yes, shipping? and yeah. so then we sell it to you for a reasonable price. That's exactly right. It has happened before, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna list it a little bit lower than the UK ones and move it. All right, we talked about Disney off characters, remember? Here's another one. <laughs> I have no idea who this is. I don't either. It's some talking sheep. It's also a nurse. Nurse. <laughs> from uh, Doc McStuffins. Is that the, what it's called? That's, I guess that's what the movie's called. I thought that was the character. I have no idea. No, we have the blue dragon, but I don't yeah. know if that's his name. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is from Doc McStuffins, and it does something. We, that's the thing about yeah. the bins. You can't really test. Yeah, it's got, you know, one of these. It's, we've got to put the batteries in the bottom. We'll test it out, but the comps were amazing. Were they really? Like, how amazing? Well, for the regular ones that didn't talk, they were selling for 50 and 60. Get out of here. There was no talking ones listed. So I'm like, mm. And they were selling. There's, like, not a lot listed in the ones there. The sell-through rate is amazing. Okay. So right. I'm thinking that this one will do really well. I'm going to go into Terra Peak because that will show me the solds for the whole year. If you don't know where that is, it's on your research tab in your eBay store. You have to have a store. And then I'm going to look for the whole year, and hopefully I can find some comps for that, and hopefully we'll sell them. All right. Oh, these are good. It's a pair of Ugg look-alike boots. Um, I only call them that because I don't know what else to call them. But we think these are good, okay? Mm -hmm. um, Tell them why. We think these are good because the tag says they're real sheepskin. And they feel amazing. They're really nice and soft. They feel better than Uggs, I'm not going to lie. They are made in the USA. Okay. Okay. It's good. They have a Vibram sole. Oh, so good. Here. Okay. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Yeah, they can see that. And then they've got this awesome ohm embroidery. And that's not actually embroidery. That's applique, right? There you go. Yep. Oh, come on. There, you there go. it is. It's really nice it's in person. It's like three or four different layers. Um, and it's from this brand something Malibu I I've tried I can't read it we'll, we'll have to Google come on it's not focusing on the maybe if I mm, nope all right it's not doing it anyway 
We can Google this. So what, what, what I'll I either tried. do, I will put in the letters. I have not tried. Yeah, I'm a she's Google. much better at the Google. Hey, you guys, if you need help comping stuff, I've helped like three people yesterday. <laughs> Just shoot me a Instagram message and I'll help you because I have a lot of experience doing this. So um, what I'll do is I'll type in the letters I do know and I'll put it in quotation marks. Uh, so that will look only for that and then we'll figure it out. There you go. If it's they, all about that Google syntax. The syntax. Okay. Um, should we, should we show the people this thing? Wait, what if you wore that? Instead? Okay, no, we're gonna do a vote. Here, show them. We're gonna okay. do a vote. This is gonna be official. You guys. Okay, so thumbs up. Oh my god. So these yes. are gonna be a little short. No, you're gonna be just fine. You're gonna be just fine. You're going to be like the Christmas story kid <laughs> in the bunny suit. You're going to be like pissed off Ralphie. <laughs> okay. Like this video. Thumbs up. If you want him to wear the puppy suit, what can we do? Leave a comment down below if that says Winnie the Pooh or Pooh or Christopher Robin, who's just as important. <laughs> if you want to see him wear the, the Winnie the Pooh suit, that might be a little awkward and tight. It might be toy. It might be toy. <laughs> we might have a blowout. <laughs> but... This is Monday. He, you know, if you can keep buying these costumes, you're gonna have to wear them. Yeah, and I'm saving something really cool over there for, for the end as a teaser. We only got a little bit left. So okay. Stick around. All right. Uh, it's a pair of born. I would call these riding boots. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They zip on both sides. Oh, nice. Super cool. Um, those look they really look new. I mean, or See, worn maybe once or twice. We started buying the heavy shoes. <laughs> yeah, we said, yeah, why not? Because they're only, they're the same price as the light shoes. This is a There's the little brand. logo on the side there, what that looks like. And people that wear born shoes typically are loyal to that brand because they're comfortable. I didn't know that was a comfort brand. Huh. I Learn, think. Learning something. Um, they're really squishy inside. All right, we're getting... So hey. anyway, we wouldn't have paid... I wouldn't have paid six ninety nine or 10 bucks, whatever Goodwill would charge for those. I would not. Yeah. But at two sixty nine, we weighed it. We're like, okay. Yeah. They'll, they'll do fine in the fall. Okay, it's so. hard to comp those right now, though, because... Hold on. Okay. The I'll, last I'll, three months... Uh, what's today? June. Yeah. So it's only goes back to March. And people weren't buying boots in March. They were buying summer stuff for summer. Mm -hmm. So the comps, unless you can go home and look for the year, you can't really rely on them. You just have to know. You have to be like, okay, riding boots... Full leather, comfort brand, they will sell in the fall. Good to know. All right. Oh, these, these will were, sell. yeah, these will sell for sure. This is a pair of black Uggs with the ribbon bows in the back. Very nice. We sell these a lot. The soles are a little dirty, but you know. Clean them. Nothing you can't handle. It's the Ugg on the back. And the heels, like, they're not worn down too much. Those are pretty yeah, good. Pretty good. We sold them way worse condition. I think we sold those exact boots in gray twice. I think you are correct. Yep. Our Uggs will not stay. I bet you if we list them today, they'll sell today. That's how much they, like how quickly they sell for us. Revere where I lived. <laughs> he was lonely. He was. And we're going to find him his mate. We picked up pots and pans lids because they sell for way more with the lid. This was a bins, right? Yeah, man. I bought this. Boom. It kind of freaks me out, though. Right? It's the little prehistoric sea monsters. Wait, are they like dried There's dead something. things and then they come to life? Supposedly. <gasps> 220 million year old. I kind of want to do it. <laughs> Should we open them? Watch the South Park episode first and then decide if you still want to do it. Oh, no. There's a South Park on this? There sure is. Okay, so I made sure that this was sealed. It is because I wanted the little monsters to be in there. That would be terrible sell this without the sea monsters yeah right all right let's okay what else we got all right i found this guy sitting in a bin right here Can you... there it is J... it's a jvc okay. um ultra compact component system uh i went every i actually found everything that went along with it in the uh, bins in that's crazy the bins the disconnected power cord was there um, I went and plugged it in, and it turned on. The little CD player motor drive still works. Um, and then I have the... I have both, but the other one's out of reach. The wood grain looking... Nice. 
uh, little bookshelf speakers. Yeah. And so that stuff's heavy, so you probably paid for it. So what's Yeah, problem? I comped it, and they were surprisingly well, selling in like the, if I remember correctly, 70 to $120 range, somewhere like that. Why? Okay, you guys, right now, CD players and VCRs are so freaking hot. They're coming back. Like, even the VCRs without the DVD players. Yeah. They are going for $150 for a VCR. Like a regular, you had it in your basement, VCR. I don't understand it. I think it's nostalgia. It might be. Probably You know, is. we just moved and we were going through our CDs. Yeah. Because we have like thousands <laughs> of CDs and we're like, ugh. We don't even own a CD player. But we wanted to listen to some of those CDs because they're not on Spotify, right? Uh -huh. So then we have to go to the eBay. You got it. Yeah. That's or, what's happening. Right. That is exactly what's happening. Hmm. Mm hmm. All right. <laughs> this is a sealed, good thing it's sealed. That's the only reason you would ever get it. Model kit for a Corsair Marines plane from Revel. Revel. There it's you go. It's a good brand. That's the brand right there. Uh, I will. You said I would only get it if it's sealed. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. But the caveat is I will get it every time if it's sealed. Because okay. These things are very expensive at the hobby store and, you know, dads and grandpas and I, I don't mean to be sexist, maybe grandmas too. <laughs> I would do this with a grandkid. They like to do it with them okay. in the holiday seasons or over Thanksgiving. They like to have these kits and if they're sealed, all the things you need are inside of it. It's good. Right on. This is, abs this is you for sure. This is a vintage or antique almost standard arithmetic drills and tests book. Check that out. You want a lesson that's on the, cool. the primer book? Yeah, it's got like math problems. Work still in it. Wow. So we sell a lot of things. Here's something to think about when you're online selling. Who are you selling to? We sell a lot of things to Netflix, HBO, Broadway plays. Like we look up the addresses, or they'll say they'll just be like HBO Studios, and we're like, "Okay." Oh, right. A lot of it goes to Atlanta, LA, or New York. We sell something every week to one of those to one of those places, sure. right? Yeah. So I'm thinking of like a you know a historical drama where a kids at school and the camera panning down and <laughs> seeing these little arithmetic exercises. It's yeah. it somebody is gonna buy this and they're gonna pay good money because they don't want to pay a props person to make it. And it's authentic. Yeah. It's real. Yep. Yeah. Right? So the pictures of this, the listing of this, I'm going to list it for that. I'm going to be like, this is an authentic, can be used, and I will put it in the title. Okay. I mean, in the description yeah. about all the uses, and that's how we sell these things as props because I use the word props in almost every single listing. <laughs> Would make a great prop. Right? It's true. Because somebody's in there typing, like some little intern is like, arithmetic props. <laughs> <laughs> and then my listing is like, hey. Right? right. It's funny. This is cool. All right, we found some more new with tags. New with tags, uh, Lane Bryant swing collection. There. It's new it Lane Bryant. Yes, it is. This I is mean, size newer. 22, 24. It's cute. Black. Basic. Basic. We buy Lane Bryant two conditions. If it's new with tags and if it's cheap. All right. And if it's those two, two conditions, we get it every time. That's right. All right, I picked up a Monopoly Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer edition. Um, this was not taped shut at the bins or anything, so I was like, ugh, it's probably going to have all yeah. the pieces missing. So I opened it up, and I, the board is still in here, which is great. Can I see the board? Sure. I'd like to see how they read you. And then them. somebody... There's no money in here, but somebody put all the cards in a Ziploc, so I'm pretty sure all the cards are here. And then there's another Ziploc bag of some hotels and houses, but the important stuff's in here, which is the Christmas colored dice and all six of the pewter tokens. So that's really the reason I got this. Oh, look, look at that. Oh, that's cute. That's awesome. I love it. There's a misfit doll. That's one of the places you can land. That's me. <laughs> Aww. I feel for this. Santa's castle. Okay, I'm stopping. Okay. We, we don't really sell the board part because it costs a lot to ship. Yeah. If, when we part out board. But yeah, games. like I said, I bought it specifically because it had all six of the pewter tokens. Yep. 
we got another game to talk about. <gasps> oh yeah, the World Series of Yahtzee. If you guys are new here, there's something important you should know. Look at that, it's still sealed. Oh my gosh. So my grandfather played Yahtzee. He passed away from COVID this year, and he was the, musty. I'm talking, Sorry. Of, he was the Yahtzee master. And he, I don't think he even knew these games existed, but yeah. ever since he passed away, when we go to the thrift store, every time, not even just sometimes, like every single time, we find Yahtzee in some form. And there are these wacky versions, like what have we sold before? Uh, Triple Yahtzee, the Pirates of the Caribbean Yahtzee, and Iron Man Yahtzee, all the Yahtzees. There was also like that super double, triple, there was a weird one, and then yeah. this one, World Series Yahtzee, and it's just, I, we always feel like it's my grandfather being like, hey, yeah. I'm here, <laughs> and they sell. We make they really, so really much do. money off Yahtzees. Yeah. We're always like, thanks, Granddad. <laughs> so nice. Right. So if you find Yahtzee that's not normal Yahtzee, I would look it up. Okay. We've got a couple of breakables and then on to the last one the big boy um speaking of myrtle beach here yeah we right <laughs> harley davidson still in the box um christmas ornaments from 2015 one one, one. single ornament yeah yes. but it's neat it's, in, it's still intact okay the box is so lightweight it's it is, like it weighs nothing nothing yeah and then we don't have to really package it. It's already in. You just put that box in another box. That's basically junk to me. That's a quick list that I can use to get by. So I found these two little cute little pottery things. They're so cute. <laughs> They're very nice, right? It has the windmills. This one's from uh, P. Hop in Amsterdam, hand-painted in Holland. I bet this is worth something for sure. Yeah, maybe. Uh, this one. Oh, it does have the cork. It's inside. This one has the cork, but it doesn't have the top. Ooh, there's something inside of it. Ew, don't do that. Oh, I touched it. <laughs> um, this one is from Bowls. Come on, there it goes. From Gouda, which is also in Holland. I think this year, these might be really good. I think your German sensibilities. This is 1575. I don't think it was made in 1575. No, absolutely This is not. probably when this village was. Salad. You think those are good, huh? I think they might be. It's a good... I mean, it's... A, you know, I'm surprised they weren't broken. Yeah, me too. Everything's broken. <laughs> people were going... I, I've been to the bins before. I've been to the ones in Fort Worth. It sounded I've been like people were DC. throwing plates. Yes. <laughs> and every five minutes, the lady would be like, clean it up! Sweep it up! And everybody would... People would have to go get their own brooms. People would like... <laughs> Dan and I were looking around like, like what, what is happening? I don't know, but like... It I'm was nuts. I'm it surprised this survived too. Yeah, it was, it was. It was One crazy. of the bins, did I tell you this? It had a knife block in it and all the knives had fallen to the bottom of the bin. There were just knives in the bin and I was digging through it. Oh, that's safe. That's nice, yeah. And we don't wear gloves because we feel things for quality. <sighs> I could have like cut my hand off. That would have not been good, no? Big knives, like, like butcher yeah, knives. Yeah, like kitchen knives, yeah. Yes. I couldn't believe it. So, I don't know if we recommend... This has been a good experiment, right? I yeah. don't know if we recommend the Dallas bins, but we've been to Fort Worth before, and that's your typical way the cart, yeah. uh, you know, everything goes type of thing. But Dallas is definitely a different... Yeah, they're doing things a little different. It's different. Okay, what'd you find? Uh, I'm surprised this didn't break either. This is a Starbucks mug. It's got an ampersand on it. Oh, and it has the top. And it's all speckled like that and yeah. it has the top yeah these will, these do pretty well if they're the ceramic with the top yes they do much better than the plastic with the top this is true those plastic ones break they do um all right i think we're there oh the bagley the bagleys are there the what these shoes oh these shoes oh that's right i almost forgot about these look at these nice. fancy shoes these are, huh, that one has a sticker, of course, Badgley Mishka. They're so cool. They remind me of, like, Manolo's. There you go. Okay. They're a good brand. They're yeah. not Manolo's. It's got a leather good. sole. It's still in good, very good shape. Very good shape. There you go. Yeah, I think they'll do okay. And they're nice. neutral colors. So you could wear them in summer or fall or, you know, many seasons. Yeah. They're like a pewter. A, I don't a know if you could... Metallic pewter. They're really yep. pretty. Yep. 
caught my eye for oh, sure. Yes. And there's no marks in the toe bed. It's kind of nasty, you know. It's good. good all right, one. all right. Oh, we got the the Abercrombie backpack. We didn't. You guys, Abercrombie right now. The old school logo is hot. Boom! Oh, check that out. That's nice. That's in really, really nice shape. Well, if I had known I had to pay two ninety nine for it, I might not have gotten it. Oh, bags were their own thing. But I didn't comp it either. Mm. I thought it was the weight, and so I was like, oh. That's nice though. Much. That's cool. It's got you know, the linings all printed. People love I'm sure the big. Do. What is it? A moose? It's People a, love the moose. It's a moose. Yeah. It's all about the moose, right? All now. about the moose. I don't know. All right. Oh, and then that. This. You're right. This is something that I definitely. How was, did not not. How break. did this not break? Look at that. That's the Coca-Cola polar bear. Um, cookie jar. And like, this is thin. Like, I am shocked this thing didn't break in the bins. It is um, from the 1997 annual collection, and it's called Cool Break. And they only made them that year in 97. So I looked it up, and the comps actually came back pretty good. 40-ish, plus, cool. plus some shipping. Be careful with Coca-Cola, you guys. Just be careful. Not all of it is created equal. And you know, we have been burned more than once. Yeah. They mass produce a lot of that stuff for Walmart, especially, and it's not worth anything. Do it. Boom. <laughs> it's the best. Look at how big this guy is. Someone had this in their cart, and I was like, oh, I wish I had gotten that. This is the Ghostbusters Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, if you don't know, from the movie Ghostbusters. There he is. And someone had it in their cart, and then I looked, and it was in the bin. Oh, they put it back? Are they you kidding me? They put it back, and I grabbed it. Somebody had this in their cart, and they put it back. Did you see me running across the thing to you? I was I like, sure did. <gasps> I was very excited. And then I went to the door, because there's no service, to comp it, just to make sure, because it was heavy, and I'm like, yeah. okay, I'm not spending $4 on time. <laughs> I can't. I'm so cheap. And the comps are over 100 Are you serious? Yes. Nice. This guy put it back. Why'd you put it back? I don't know. I don't know, but I we, looked we over picked it. it up. We picked it up. It has some spots of like dirt, but baby yeah, wipe, nothing, man. Nothing a baby wipe can't take care of. I should, you should have brought your fanny pack and we could have used the baby wipe. Oh, I know, right? And tried it. That's what I should do is try cleaning them in the store. Oh, is that awkward? There was two pieces of clothing hiding over okay. there. Okay. All right, we're gonna finish it out with, with the clothing, the bread and butter. Uh, this is a We The Free top. Division of Free People. There you go. That's Did that say extra small? This says extra small. Wait, hold that next to me. This will fit me. <laughs> Free People is so oversized. What are they doing? No, but people like to wear it like that, but okay. I can't wear it all if I can wear it in a tent. Okay, and oh, cool. A bread Speedo lifeguard one piece bathing suit. We sell the heck out of Speedos. Damn. I never, we bought all those Speedos last year and sold them. Yes. I would not pick them up. No, but they were all new with tags. Right, but I wouldn't have known to pick up Speedo because who buys Speedo? People. People, I mean, we had like 30 of them and people bought them all. Yep. So that's the thing, you guys. Oh. Oh. Is that from here? Is this from the bins? I think it is. We sold this before, not this exact one, but a, make, a, a goofy one. It's a very large coffee mug. I'm a fan of large coffee mugs. <laughs> coffee makes morning swell. <laughs> That's Mickey, not swell out of coffee. I think, and where is that from? Uh, it's from Disney. Disney, Disney Parks. I don't yeah. know, it doesn't say Disney Parks. I it know, just says but this little logo on the bottom of coffee mugs, when it has a little castle, mm -hmm. it either comes from a Disney store or Disney Parks, but when you go to Disney Parks, they have, remember we went to Disney World? Yeah. And they have these, We I got one of these with Goofy or Donald Duck. Okay. For one of, as a family member gift, yeah. and they have them the whole wall of them. So I only know that because I went there one time. Anyway, <laughs> uh, thank you guys for hanging out. That was fun. This was fun. We we did a bins haul, you guys. We did it. We did it. It's cool what you can find. It is. Um, I mean, it's. I have mixed feelings about it. I do too. I do too. Um, I feel like we. I feel like we would go to a our regular thrift spots. We would spend the same amount of money. 
and we'd get better stuff. <gasps> Do you think? I think so. But, okay, okay, okay. I'll play devil's advocate. Okay. We got a lot more shoes. We did get a lot more shoes. Our place is overpriced shoes, so we don't pick them up a lot anymore. Like, $10, that's how much our shoes are. Yeah. At, on a good day. Like, normally they're priced $24, and then we have to get half off to get, the, get them down to $12. That's rough. So maybe I would say the 269 shoes, even though they were split out, was really good for us because we built up a good shoe stock. Mm -hmm. And then we found some off-kilter plush that we might not have found. That's true, yep. I'm just trying to think of all the, the longer burger baskets I never could have afforded. Yep, yeah, they would have priced those too high. So there's stuff that we got that we wouldn't, we may have seen, but we wouldn't have been able to afford to pick up. Okay. So that's the other flip side. Yep. We did spend more, it was 90. $3 yeah. or something. For yeah. us, once it hits over 50 we're like, oh, <laughs> man, we have spending. Because our average cost of good is $3. Yeah. So, you know, we filled up the car, so... <laughs> I can't complain. Our car was full. Every time. And we have two costumes to wear, so... There we go. Win, win, win. It was good. If you want to see more Ben's hauls, let us know. We'll go. And we'll go to the one in Fort Worth. Maybe we can compare head-to-head. -head. Yeah, we'll go to the the... Old school, legit bins, the OG bins in Dallas, Fort Worth. It's far, but we'll go there for you if you want to see what that's like, and maybe yeah. we can compare them and see. Uh, this one seemed to have more home goods. I'm just gonna say it. That, that's right, and they were not. It was all separated out. That was kind of cool too. Yeah. Right. Anyway, we'll stop talking now. Right. Thank you so much for hanging out. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.